It was a sunny afternoon when I first noticed them with little meows. Me and my kid were walking from school, two kittens huddled together on the curb of a busy street. Their fur was dry and dirty, and they looked small and fragile. Amid the noise of cars and motorcycles around them, as I slowly approached, the kittens shrank back, their eyes widening with fear at this new potential threat. One was a pretty gray tabby, the other, a handsome black kitten, siblings most likely, born to a stray mama cat struggling to survive in the unforgiving city. I crouched down, making soft noises in an effort to show I meant no harm. I gave them the remaining kitten food I had in my bag. The gray tabby kitten was the braver of the two. More curious, inching forward, slightly to sniff at the air in my direction. But its sibling hung back, issuing a hiss of warning. I asked a store clerk if anyone owned them and said she saw someone left the kittens and their mom cat under the guard post a few days ago and never came back. That's when I knew I had to do a cat rescue. Slowly, I reached out a hand to the gray kitten. It flinched initially, then seemed to gain a measure of trust as it gave my fingers a cautious sniff. The black kitten hid from me, and I could not reach him even if I tried. Unfortunately, I had to do chores and obligations. I felt terrible having to leave its sibling behind, giving one last glance at the black kitten as it watched us leave. I thought I will return to get the black kitty, hopefully. I carried the gray kitty gently, cradling the tiny bundle of fur to my chest and shoulder. I thought she was crying for her sibling. It trembled in my hands, looking up at me with those saucer-wide eyes still so uncertain of what was happening. The rescued kitten remained tense during the walk home, occasionally letting out meow of confusion and fear. I tried to keep it calm and secure, showing that everything would be okay. When we arrived at my home, the kitten went into full panic mode at the unfamiliar sights, sounds, and smells. My cats did not help in making Kitten feel welcome as usual. It darted from my arms, scrambling under anything to hide in the dimly lit safety of its new cave. It stayed aloof for a countless number of days. By the way, I went back twice for the black kitty, but I could not find it, even with my amazing cat-calling ability. I hope it is doing well with a loving fur parent. I gave the scared tabby some space, knowing it would take time to adjust. I made sure to put a few bowls of food and water near its cave. Four hours, the only signs that a kitten was actually under there were the occasional rustlings and soft cute meows. The next day, I was 
speaking in a quiet, friendly tone about how this was its new home, that it was safe and loved here. I told my other cats to be nice and protective of their new sister. They understood the assignment, it seems. Eventually, a tiny gray head poked out from beneath its cave, sniffing tentatively at the air. Slowly, almost shyly, the kitten crept out far enough to lap up some water and nibble on the food when it thought it wasn't when it thought I wasn't watching too closely. Over the next few days, the kitten started coming out of its hiding place more often. Its curiosity was overcoming its reservations about the unfamiliar environment. It would creep around the room, sniffing at everything with its little twitching nose, stumbling on unsure young legs. Whenever it got too close, my cat Kim would arch her back and hiss out a warning to maintain her space. But the kitten was undeterred, gaining confidence and even trying to play and chase Kim around at times. Since Ayami is becoming active, she needed to take a quick bath too. And I remembered that I have cat vitamins and eye drops for cats. So I gave Ayame her dose of cat medicine. Needless to say that she did not love taking it. However, she likes drinking milk for cats. She also likes getting a massage. Weeks went by and the little stray turned into a playful, adventurous cat about town in our compound. The kitten would scamper around chasing wads of paper I scrunched up and tossed for it, race loops around the furniture and climb up and down to look at birds outside. It became cuddly, warmer, whenever I sat down to read or watch TV. And at night, it would continue its exercise of curiosity, purring loudly with pure contentment at finally having a real home. Even with my small acts, like rescuing a pet and can truly change an animal's life, in my opinion. Somehow, these rescued cats seem to understand they were given a second chance at happiness and safety. They reward us a hundredfold with laughter, unconditional love, and relaxation. Yes.
I discovered this wet, organic cat food. It smells good and affordable. Ayami enjoys it a lot. It shows. I will do a review video on this cat food and I'll leave the link to it in the description below. Looking at my once homeless kitten now, I'm amazed by the transformation. This vivacious, contented cat was once a fragile stray clinging to survival. With gentleness, patience and compassion, we helped that scared, skinny kitten blossom into a happy, cute, energetic kitten.